Mm-hmm. So the way that I teach happiness, I think a lot of what's out there is about adding more good things to your life. That mm-hmm. I teach it as happiness comes from transforming the way you respond to all the challenges. Mm. Because if we keep adding more good things, but then we never change the way that we respond to all these things outside of our control, then we're going to be on a roller coaster of happiness. It's not going to be mm. true happiness. And so all these principles kind of interconnect. They all build upon one another. And so when I teach happiness, and of course it sounds cliche to say it's you know not determined by your external circumstances, but I use mm. logic and I walk people through examples and I like to create what I call fake math equations Mm -hmm. where I create these equations that just help things click in people's brains where it's like, you know, nature would not have made anything outside of your control necessary for your happiness. That's what I believe. And I think that's the stoic Mm -hmm. belief. And so it doesn't matter what situation you're born into. It doesn't matter if you fall ill, if terrible things happen to you. And yes, that's hard to get someone to understand, but at least giving them a different perspective because I think all of what's out there the outside of stoicism is like, well, you at least need loving relationships and you at least need mm. good connections with your family and you at least need your health. But then that's yeah. kind of resigning anybody who doesn't have those things. You're condemning them to unhappiness. And so uh, trying to look at it from a different perspective, I think can be healing for people who have mm. these unavoidable circumstances. And then of course, one of the laws I teach is adversity, which is all about, you know, we always look in hindsight and we see, we go through a difficult challenge and years later after struggling and fighting it, we look back and we're like, okay, well, you know, I did that too. I I obviously struggled for over 20 years and I blamed Mm. my circumstances on other people and it wasn't fair that I went through all this, but then this became my greatest asset. Mm. And so if we always know that a positive lesson is going to come, then why can't we approach a challenge when we're in it with foresight and Mm. say, this is, terrible. And I prefer that I don't have to go through this, but what could be the potential lesson that's coming? And it's just utilizing this wisdom in ways that gives us more options of how to respond rather than just condemning ourselves to unhappiness based on what most people believe is necessary for it. Yeah. 